Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry's military career influenced his royal exit decision more than you think. As if blaming Meghan Markle isn't already bad enough, many critics of the Sussex's royal exit somehow still believe that Prince Harry didn't have reasons of his own for wanting to leave the royal family. Many neglected to think about how Prince Harry's military career influenced his royal exit, but now, new insights by a royal commentator for Insider are putting things into perspective. Long before Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle announced their plans to step back from the royal family in January 2020, the Duke of Sussex had already voiced his concerns about his role as a public figure. Harry acknowledged this during a charity dinner shortly after the couple's announcement saying, The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not one made lightly. It was so many months of talks after so many years of challenges. And I know I haven't always gotten it right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. As for those years of challenges, we can look at his experiences preceding and following his military service in the UK, royal expert Kristen Meinzer told Insider on June 22. I don't think Harry fully got to know what ordinary meant until he entered the military. Prior to that, his life was in palaces, boarding schools, on polo fields, and other elite places that are far from how the rest of us live. The military changed that. Kaminzer adds suddenly, he was sleeping in the same barracks, eating the same food, wearing the same clothes, and stationed in the same war zones as people he'd never rubbed elbows with before. The commentator explained that long before Meghan was in the picture, Harry was expressing a desire to leave the royal family, especially following his four-month tour of Afghanistan in 2013. And according to an interview with The Guardian, Harry revealed that he definitely felt more comfortable in the military than among his royal relatives at Kensington Palace. Also taking into consideration Harry's traumatic experience following the death of his mother, Princess Diana, in 1997, it all makes a lot of sense. Let's just assume that Harry, a grown man, had just as much to do with his royal exit decision as Meghan did. Another analysis. Meghan Markle described how she felt when she met Prince William and Kate Middleton for the first time. We now know how challenging being a working senior member of the British royal family was for Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. When she and Prince Harry got engaged in November 2017, they were excited about the work that they hoped they could do. The prince had reportedly been feeling stifled in his royal life for some time. Therefore, with Meghan at his side, he hoped to modernize some of the royal family's traditions. Unfortunately, that would not be the case. The Sussexes had hoped to have allies in Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge. However, the Cambridges had no interest in shaking things up. In the end, the Sussexes left the royal family, and the UK leaving the spotlight on Prince William and Kate. However, in an old interview, Meghan describes how excited she was to meet her future in-laws and how welcoming they appeared to be to her. Prince William was suspicious of Meghan Markle at first. After Prince Harry and Meghan met in late spring or early summer of 2016, their romance took off. Just two weeks after meeting the pair was spending time in Botswana under the stars. Just a few months into the relationship, the prince was eager to introduce the duchess to his family. Unfortunately, Prince William wasn't as welcoming as Prince Harry had hoped. The prince urged his brother to slow down with the American actress to truly make sure her intentions were honorable. According to Daily Mail, Harry went mental and accused his brother of trying to finish their relationship before it had started. Things were strained between the brothers from that moment moving forward. In fact, the older prince is very concerned about the release of a new book, Centering the Sussexes, Finding Freedom. Harry and Meghan, 
am the making of a modern royal family. A source told the Sun. The concern is, it will somehow paint William as an unfeeling baddie against kind and philanthropic Harry and Meghan. The aides are worried about it. Unsympathetic, unfeeling, and unsupportive are the words being used, but of course, no one knows exactly what's in it. Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton never got the chance to bond. With a fracture in Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship, forming even before the Sussexes, Wednesday, Meghan and Kate never stood a chance. The Duchess of Cambridge was pregnant with her youngest son, Prince Louis throughout the Sussexes engagement and up until a month before their wedding, which meant she was focused on other things as well. A source told Tatler magazine, I don't think that she ever pulled Meghan under her wing and said, I'll show you the ropes. It turns out that Meghan really hoped to bond with her sister-in-law, but because of the brothers' rift and their differing personalities, it never happened. A source told Daily Mail. Of all the people in the royal family, Meghan said she had hoped to develop a close relationship with Kate, but was never given the chance. It was hurtful and disappointing for Meghan. Meghan Markle described the first time she met Prince William and Kate Middleton. Still, before all of this occurred, Meghan was super thrilled to meet her new in-laws, and there were good vibes between them, all despite how things have turned out. Prince Harry told BBC, It was exciting. I mean, I do know. I'd been seeing her for a period of time when I literally didn't tell anybody at all. And then William was longing to meet her and so was Catherine. So you know being our neighbors, we managed to get that in a couple of, well, quite a few times now and Catherine has been absolutely wonderful, Meghan added. Though those warm and fuzzy feelings didn't last during the Sussex's royal tenure, it looks like things are much friendly post. Exit. Another report. Why Meghan and Harry's new book will cause problems for Prince William. A new book is coming out about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, detailing their departure from royal life and their new life of financial independence in Los Angeles. Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan, and the Making of a Modern Royal Family, written by royal journalists Omid Sabi and Carolyn Durand, is due to come out in August, according to The Sun. While this is all very exciting, royal aides are reportedly worried about how the royal family will be portrayed in the book, especially Prince William and his wife, Kate Middleton. According to The Sun, aides are nervous that William will be painted as the bad guy and be made to look unsympathetic, unfeeling, and unsupportive, with the potential for secrets coming to light. Aides are very nervous about the damage that this book could do for the royal family. In contrast, according to the Daily Mail, it is quite likely that the publication will only show Harry and Meghan in a positive light. Keep watching to find out more about this potential royal atomic bomb waiting to go off. The upcoming book could start a new royal feud. The new biography about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan, and the making of a modern royal family, is already making waves. While the book has not been released yet, the Daily Mail states that royal aides are worried about the book's portrayal of Prince William and the possibility of beginning yet another new feud. The royal family has been plagued by feud rumors ever since Harry married Meghan, and things worsened after makes it. The outlet adds that this book is not an official biography, though some sources think that Meghan and Harry worked with the authors. But authors Omid Stabi and Carolyn Durand certainly did their homework for this book. According to The Sun, they spoke with over 100 people to gain information, and the Daily Mail adds that these people are close to the royal family. Kensington Palace stated that they would not comment on finding freedom. While the specifics of the book remain a mystery, many sources have come forward in concern. According to The Sun, 
One source compared it to Princess Diana's explosive interview with the BBC in 1995, saying, The book could be the most damaging thing to the royal family since Princess Diana's interview on Panorama with Martin Bashir. As royal fans await the controversial new book, Meghan and Harry continue to focus on their new non-royal life in Los Angeles. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.